Your doctor has recommended that you undergo a breast biopsy procedure using a hollow needle to sample a portion of a lump or thickening in the breast. In your case, you have a lump or thickening in your breast. It was felt by you or your doctor during a routine breast exam or discovered following a mammogram. Let's take a moment to look at the reasons why lumps form in breast tissue. The breast is made of layers of skin, fat, and breast tissue, all of which overlay the pectoralis muscle. Breast tissue itself is made up of a network of tiny milk-carrying ducts, and there are three ways in which a lump can form among them. Most women experience periodic changes to their breasts. Cysts are some of the most common kinds of tissues that can grow large enough to be felt and to cause tenderness. Cysts often grow and then shrink without any medical intervention. A second kind of lump is caused by changes in breast tissue triggered by the growth of a cyst. Even after the cyst itself has gone away, it can leave fibrous tissue behind. This scar tissue can often be large enough to be felt. The third kind of growth is a tumor. Tumors can be either benign or cancerous, and it is concern about this type of growth that has led your doctor to recommend breast biopsy. Sometimes you will have breast changes that cannot be felt by physical examination alone, but may be seen on a mammogram. In this video, we will focus only on simple needle biopsy, which is the attempt to use a hollow needle to take a sample of the tissue in question. In this video, we will focus only on simple needle biopsy, which is the attempt to use a hollow needle to take a sample of the tissue in question. On the day of your operation, you'll be asked to put on a surgical gown. You may receive a sedative by mouth and an intravenous line may be put in. You will then be transferred to the operating table. Your doctor will scrub thoroughly and will apply an antiseptic solution to the skin around the area where the needle will be inserted. Then the doctor will place a sterile drape or towels around the operative site and will inject a local anesthetic. This will sting a bit, but your breast will quickly begin to feel numb. Usually the surgeon will inject more than one spot in order to make sure that the entire area is thoroughly numb. After allowing a few minutes for the anesthetic to take effect, the surgeon will insert the biopsy needle and guide it toward the lump. You will feel some pressure or even slight tugging or pulling, but you should not feel any sharp pain. If you do begin to feel pain, you should tell the doctor. Once the tip of the needle has penetrated the lump, the doctor will draw material from the lump up into the collection chamber. Depending on the size and location of the lump, your doctor may choose to reposition the needle and draw additional tissue for analysis. Finally, a sterile dressing is applied. Your specimen will be sent immediately to a lab for microscopic analysis. Your doctor will tell you when to expect result from those tests. Breast biopsy by needle only rarely leads to complications. One significant risk is bleeding. Sometimes bleeding can begin inside the breast in the area where tissue was removed. Symptoms of this kind of bleeding include pain and or swelling or firmness within the breast.